Yeah, GG. Putting in that work. That's you know, I can relate to that. No. Mm, mm. Yeah, man. And you obviously been putting in your uh, work and uh, work, man. Let, let's for the listeners who don't, man, let's give them a little history on yourself, man. At what point? Uh, let's start off from the beginning for you, man. Music, and, and obviously you have a passion for your music. There's a deeper connection. Uh, you can see it through through your, through your talent. But at what point or what age um, for you, um, Jay, where it really connected? You know, you went from a listener or whatever, but you started like really pursue it or it clicked, something clicked for you. Um, if you can take me back to that time when you like really say, okay, this is it. You know what? I'm gonna go back in time. It's it's it's, a, it's so many different moments, bro. Mm. But uh, I could, one that I can think of uh, right off the top of the head right now would be you know my cousin R.I.P. Tony. He ended up getting uh, killed in Mississippi. He's from East St. Louis, same hoods. Uh, he was like a mentor. He used to make me bring my. Uh, it was the jukebox days. A little yeah, bit. jukebox. A wow. <laughs> and to keep me out of trouble, you know what I mean. To keep me out of hood trouble. And wow. uh, we would stay out at night, you know, at his house and my house. And he would make me bring, you know, the radio and mm. uh, turn me on to all the hip hop and R&B and say, you need to emulate them, man. You so, something different about you. You know, you need to, you know, it's cool, you know, cool to be street smart, but you need to use those gifts. Mm. And uh, man, he he never I mean, I could not even come over there if I didn't have the cassettes and the CDs. You know what I mean? Wow. And he would make me emulate the LLs and you know, the Pops and the uh, Biggies and, the, you know, just this just, just different artists, man. You know, Eric B. Rock him and, yeah. uh, you know, the new editions. It was, he was real versatile. So I think I, I woke up then and then when he got killed, I was 16, bro. Jeez, and that bro. was a turning point in high school for me. And um, I said, man, I got to. I gotta do something different, man. Mm. I can't let that. I, let, I can't let that all be in vain. All of the, you know, the GMC, you know, all of the hard work and him seeing something in me and seeing something in me that I didn't even see in myself all the way. Wow, that makes sense. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So when I, like, man, recently when the source hit, I went way back to that time I'm talking about now. Like that was a childhood dream reading, the, you know, the Source magazine. We was featured in that. Yeah. Uh, January recently. I know you probably seen that. Yeah, I've definitely seen that. We're going to talk about that. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, that's in connection with what I'm talking about with uh, Tony, though. Okay. And uh, my mom being a musician and all that, you know, the grooming of being made to sing and made to, you know, do things, playing different instruments. But when I took it serious, serious, when he got shot, man. Oh, that, that, that really that connected. Turned, my mom gave me that news, bro. It was a turning point. Some clicked. You know wow. what I mean? Wow, you yeah, channel be next. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of like following that pain though, like finding that connection and following exactly. that pain. Yeah, wow. Yeah, pain is gain. That's why I say pain is game. Man, my greatest gains came from my greatest pains. Man. Ooh, you know wow. what I mean? Look at that. You feel me? Let's yeah. talk about your mission through your music, man. Um, there is a mission, obviously, because you stand for something, and it's completely exactly. different exactly. for um other artists you know, like a lot of them like to you know they, they get along and doing what's popular half of them look the same sound the same you don't even know who the hell is who no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. but obviously <laughs> i when i listen to willie j i know it's you you know absolutely man like i said i love authentic i love one person you can tell when a person connected with mm. the inner self and so mm. can you tell the fans uh literally about your mission through your music because there is a definitely a mission well, you know what? It's a real simple slogan I use for this comp you know, my company, Permission Entertainment, and the slogan mm. is creating hope. It's all about hope, bro. Mm. Uh, creating hope through arts and entertainment is our slogan and empowering people changing lives. And that's the niche, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, methods might change, but the approach never changes, you know what I mean? And mm. uh, the vision never changes, you know what I mean? You make tweaks and adjustments, but uh, uh, it's all about hope, man. You know, yeah. that's really what my music is about. And I think uh, the hope really comes from just being resilient, man, and being mm. able to bounce back and go through things, you know, that a lot of people couldn't make it through. Mm -hmm. uh, prison time and cut up, uh, you know, almost in, you didn't get to see my beautiful daughter. Born yeah, once, absolutely. Like yeah. Two months away. You feel me? Mm. And uh, so, man, I think I just think that pain, uh, pain is game, bro. That's that's really oh. where. That's, that helps me to articulate. I don't think it would come off as authentic if I didn't go through it first. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Wow. And, but that's what my company is about, man. We like four years old. We started it from the ground up. And, um, you know, you know the rest is history, man. Yeah. 
Passengers Growing Company in uh, the New York Weekly last year, number one. That was one of my first number ones, period, on the national level. Ooh, we. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm great for God, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, man. And uh, you know, I made God a promise on the inside too, man. You know that I was just gonna really run with, run, run, run with these gifts, man. Let me see my daughter born, and really, I'm gonna be honest. That's when my music really started taking on a signature because I was reaching for years. You feel okay. me? That okay. sound. You feel me? The sound don't come overnight, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say I got to mold and curate it and go through yeah. the process. Yeah. You know I mean? and, and when you find it, though, you know, you're like, nah, I got my sound. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you got, you got, and then you just, you know, you emulate the grace and make sure you don't sound too much like nobody. But, Absolutely. you know, everybody influenced by somebody. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's really what the music is. Simple. It's just really hope, man. Soul music. Uh, it's based off of just real life, man. I can't do no music that I haven't gone through. I can't write lyrics that I don't uh, have any, you know, like experience behind it. Cause I believe experience bring hope, bro. And that's yeah. really what I try to convey through my music. My art. Absolutely, you know? man. Speaking yeah. of influences, man, who, is, who are some of your musical influences? Like who's man. Some <laughs> it's so wild. You, see, you see some of everybody your style, so I'm curious. <laughs> man, I'm a music junkie. Now I'm gonna go through genres with you, okay, real fast. <laughs> let's start, let's start with the obvious being, you know, project baby and growing up in the hood and you know, uh, and, do, and doing things. And uh I'll say Tupac is definitely Tupac's music uh moves me more than anything as far as rap. I think he's go to rap. You know, yeah. that's that's my opinion. Uh, Brenda's got a baby, just moved me. I I never seen nothing like that or heard nothing like that. Man, and I was still in the hood, and we were seeing that. You know, we were hearing about you know certain chicks and certain girls. We probably went to school. We like, yeah, you heard, you heard a tongue, you heard a shenanigans sh sh or whatever. You know, what I mean? <laughs> threw a threw a baby in the uh, you know what I mean, in the trash yeah. can. I'm like yeah. what? And then all late. of a sudden, Tupac came out with that. Brenda's got a baby, man. Jeez. Yo. He made me want to rap uh, and, and sing. You know, I do both. You know yeah, I mean? you do both. Yeah, yeah. 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 So do we start with the rap first. You know, okay. him, Biggie, you know, Pete and Eric being rock him. I was big on the paid and full thing. You know nice. I was huge on that as a little boy. You know what I mean? But uh, I'll say, you know, on the R&B tip, I love Marvin Gaye. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Marvin Gaye as far as like on the R&B tip. Uh, Steve, Stevie Wonder, Michael yep. Jackson. Yep. You dig what I'm saying? Prince, yep. you know what I mean? Yeah. And then if we're going to go to the spiritual side a little bit, you know, I, I love the Kirk Franklin's, the, okay. uh, the uh, you know, Lecrae's. And, yep. uh, you know what I mean? K-Dot, now the new school, K-Dot and uh, J. Cole. I think, you know, those dudes are definitely carrying the mantle, you know, those names I named previously, you know, the, the pioneers, you know, the Tupacs and the Biggies. I think I think those guys making them proud, you know, as far as uh, that is concerned. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so why variety? Journey, rock and roll, journey, you know what I mean? Oh, Steve yeah. Curry. Wow, look at that. Steve Curry, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a wide variety, man. Um, okay. You know, just if it's real... And if it's real good music and it's got soul to it and substance, man, I'm digging it, man. Mm -hmm. And now on the jazz tip, uh, Miles Davis. Ooh. Because he's from East St. Louis. <laughs> you know, he's okay. from Boston, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not just because of that, but I didn't even know that until long, you know, until I got older. Yeah. I didn't even know he was from, you know, East St. Louis. So I was like, you know, late, late 20s, early 30. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so, you know, him with Marcellus, you know what I mean? Billy Holiday. The greats. Yeah. The greats. Yeah, the greats. The greats. <laughs> the greats man. I like the greats, man. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and Beethoven, I, I like classical, you know, because I ran into some Oh, wow, that's the I ran into some mafia dudes when I was clowning back in the day, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. And they love classical, so I got put on to that. You know, wow, look at that variety. variety. Yeah, just a variety. And I try to kind of incorporate that um, into my music. And I think all of those elements kind of make up my sound and DNA musically. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. What's it like working with Arthur Flash Johnson, man? The boxing hole. Oh, man. 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 You know, I'm managing him now, man. I've been managing that brother. Wow. You know? How'd that work? Because you was working with him. Yeah, and then see, it check it out. Go ahead, work. I'm gonna tell you real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down. Break it down. Break it. It down. Check it out, man. You know the, hit, the we had a hit record. Today. I got the hit. Yep. Sunshine with the rain. It hit number three in the Euro charts. You know, Indie charts internationally, and uh, that was that was one of the you know 
uh, highest ranked singles I had ever done. Mm. Uh, not the first time short, but like up there, you know. Mm. And um, you know that went well. Then uh, got him on another track called "We Love You Puerto Rico." We did for Hurricane Maria victims. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, my daughter is actually on that record. I think you know that. Yep. And that went to number two. And then we just start chopping it up. You know what? This great dude, this NAACP winner, seven-time Golden Glove champion, my client told me when he when he says when you hear that from somebody great, you say, "Hey man, you're a great you're a great mentor musically, man. I want you to you know man help help manage you know my music career." And uh, that was an honor to me, you yeah. know, because he's known for boxing. But then I heard that dude sing. And uh, the rest was history, man. And, you know, prior to the time we met when I was in Richmond, Virginia, a lot has changed since then. Yeah. So he just started seeing, he just started liking the way we were moving, man. You know what I mean? He liked, he liked the way, I, you know, like, like how you moving, man. And this thing, and I, I, you know, basically I became, you know, like this mentor manager, you know, and now officially his manager, and, you know, and to hear him say that on ABC 30, I got my client right on after me. Two weeks what? in a row, we were on ABC 30. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It's on the commission at the table. Ain't that crazy? God is good, man. Yeah, You know man. what I mean? He's paramount, man. You know, God is paramount, no doubt. Hey, but check it out. That's how that happened. Okay. And, uh, it's been on ever since, man. We work on a record with him called Time is Changing. We got him to chart. And I figured like this, bro. Mm. If I figured I can clone or duplicate that, uh, whatever, you know, whatever was going on with me musically. I'm like, man, I can, you know, duplicate that with him. And I heard his material and I'm like, that's 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 some dope material right there. Wow. Man. He's like, man, I've been sitting on this record for seven years. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you, got, yo, you got some exclusive. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, man. So that that's really how it happened, man. Okay. And they introduced us to a post office. This is somebody they 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 introduced us. I mean, out of all places, bro. We got to share this on ABC 30. Like I say, man, this year started off with a bang. Yeah. Uh, the source, and then the ABC 30. That was two weeks in a row. That had never happened in my life, period. And I, I'm so grateful that they showed that kind of love and to be able to not just get myself on there, but to get uh you know, one of my clients, you know, mm -hmm. on that platform and to give him his flowers while he's here, you know what I mean? Dude, that's it. That's so the treasure right there. Yeah, that's you know the treasure, I mean? man. You wow. feel me? And so he saw that, you know, yo, this dude is highly gifted, you know, but he cares about people. You know what I mean? He cares about empowering other people, not just himself. Because mm. if you empower other people, bro, you're going to find yourself empowered in return. It's like a boomerang. It's a boomerang, yep. Yeah, you did. So that's really the origin of us, man. And then we have masterminds all the time. We talk every week. And uh, I didn't even realize I was mentoring him. He told me that. You know what I mean? <laughs> look, you, look, you're doing things. I don't even know. Like, you know. <laughs> I didn't wow. even know. I was like, what you say? He was like, you're a great mentor. I was like, huh? OK. What you say, champ? <laughs> I call him champ. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. And uh, I, I believe this, man. You know, you roll with champs, man. You become a champ. You Ain't that something? I love you it. You feel you feel? Yeah. Do you plan to? Do you see another lane for you? Uh, you know, doing in, into that management side, expanding on that, man. Yeah, you know, yes, sir. You got a lot of success, bro. Man, I'm humbled by that, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like, let's just let's just straight the facts for a minute. Like consistency, you know, sustainability, foundation, market yeah. approach. Time. I can go down the line. I can check them off with you. And like I said, a lot of people come and go in this industry. You know that, and I know that, right? A lot no of people jump, no jump on bandwagon. They want to see <laughs> Hoppola, you know. Right. They want to <laughs> big fact. You know that. Yeah, I know this, this industry is like a, you know, you got to find out who's who. And Absolutely. a lot of people wear masks. They don't really, Absolutely. they're afraid to share themselves and really display who they really are, you know. That's true, bro. That's and um, like I said, but I see you, man, expanding on that, man, with, uh, with that management side and, and literally yeah, expanding true, your brand. Uh, to a whole number conglomerate. Is that something that you kind of uh, up yeah. to or keeping up, keep, you know, keeping keeping uh, keeping that open? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. Taking on different clients. You know, right now I'm grooming, you know, grooming him right now. He's okay. like, you know what I mean? And uh, we, you know, we got a lot of prospects now. They seeing what I'm doing with him and I, all over the country and world right now. I got people who will not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, be the manager, man, and stuff. So, yeah, that's definitely something that's... Uh, you know, you're not gonna always be, you know, touring and doing. You know, I love music. I'm always doing music, but 
uh, management and, and motivational speaking, man. You know, I'm a part of the John Maxwell team right now too, man. I'm with, headed yeah. to Florida. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's something else that I believe that's going to help that as well. You know, mm. uh, that's a whole nother community. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, you no know, motivational speaking. And okay. uh, that's one of that's one of my gifts as well. And then you know, and that that that, that kind of helps bring other other opportunities for, for management as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be surprised at some of the people. Maybe you won't. Oh. You you <laughs> look out! Look out! I ain't surprised. <laughs> they <laughs> might be, but I ain't. Wait a minute! You ain't surprised. You actually just said that. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, that's definitely at all. Something. Because I know something that with with a mission and purpose always stands. I can yeah. see it. I know it. You know, That's you know, you stem from God, you know, you have no a doubt, different bro. uh connection. You know, you're no not doubt. doing this for fame, you're not doing this for nah, the brand. Man. You see no what I'm way. saying? So those things always will last. And like I said, a lot yeah. of things, you know, like I said, here we are still doing the same thing we love to do years later. We ain't going nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you know where to find us at work. You, exactly. you see what I'm saying? We at work. Where Willie Jack at work, you at know. Work. Always, man. <laughs> Be up at 3 a.m. in the morning. Sometimes. There you go, putting it at work. <laughs> you know what I mean? All day, all day, every day, man. Wow. You know, because it, it's therapeutic, though, too, man. Okay. And, and it just, you know, it just keeps you out of trouble. Yeah. Uh, gives you more perspective. Um, you know, and I got this saying, man, I just, I believe you grind before you shine. And like you yeah. say, man, I couldn't have lasted this long, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, if I was doing it for fame, you know, because yep. that. I look at celebrity like this, and I know nobody ever said this, but I'm going to share this with you. And I ain't never said this in no interview, nothing, no media. And I'm going to say it with my boy. Yeah. Chris, right? Okay, check it out. You know what I mean? Um, I believe this, man, is that uh, you have to kind of be, you got to you gotta kind of be the message, man. Mm. You know, you got you to gotta be the message. And um, you said something about God earlier. You know, um, that's my source, man. Yep. You know, he, he gives me, he gives me the grace and the fortitude. And, uh, you know, and I always tell the clients, man, you just got to grind before you shine. Nothing falls in your lap. And, yeah. And y'all know, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, nobody, no other artist probably would say this or entertainer. It's about the word celebrity. Okay. Mm. I don't like when people, you know, call me that, to be mm. honest. I'm not going to get mad at you. And, you know what I mean? Of course. I don't know if I'm you or nothing like that. But this is so much I learned about that word. If you take the syllables in enunciation, sell your liberty. So wow. wow. You feel that, me? Yeah. So that keeps me grounded. That keeps me humble. That keeps me from not chasing celebrity. Mm. You mm. dig what I mean? Yeah. Because I'd rather be impactful than, you know, famous. Because just because you're famous, that don't mean you're impacting people for real. Absolutely. You're just well known. <laughs> you're just well known. <laughs> You just well know, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be in that. You know, and I ain't no better than nobody else. I'm far from perfect, man. Yeah. But uh, that word celebrity, it tripped me out too. I believe that came from the man upstairs. I definitely believe that. Yeah. Um, because yeah. I never looked at that word. I was like, man, why I flinch when people say that? You know, because they do that. I'd be like, nah, just call me Willie J, please. Mm. Uh, just call me Willie J. Take and, that uh, label off of me. Yeah, take that label off of me because once I looked at it that way, you know, sell my liberty because most celebrities, they they have to sell it. Their liberty, their freedom. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I feel like freedom is way more important, bro. Absolutely, man. And the soul is nah, priceless, man. man. The soul is priceless. Price is priceless, bro. Uh, you know, and it's about creating value, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, that's my niche, bro. You that's know, I just want to be remembered like that, you know, that I was reaching out, trying to help and you know, be one of the ones, man, to spark something different, and you know, in the in the game. Like Absolutely. you say, I don't want to sound like nobody, and I don't want my approach to be like nobody else's, you know? That's what's up, Because huh? you can't man. take that with you, bro. You can't oh, take oh, you know it. You, man. you can't take these things with you, but you can. I believe our impact that we leave it echoes in eternity, and I believe, yep. we, I believe we get rewarded for how we put it down here and help people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can That's fans expect um, new music from you? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm collaborating with uh, K.E. on the track from uh, Beverly Hills, man. His brother sent me about 300 joints, man. man. And uh, put out a, you know, we got a, we got a banger out called On My Last Day Here, man. Y'all can check that out. It's, it's on all platforms, you know, globally. Um, Spotify, SoundCloud, everywhere, you know what I mean? Uh, you, you can get it anywhere. And uh, that song is about, you know, just kind of like, it's dedicated to all our loved ones. I couldn't really dedicate that to a particular 
like event or a tragic event or happening like okay. we have in the past. So, because there's so many people down right now, yeah, to make it just universal in general, and you can take it and appropriate it and apply it to your life how you want to. You did what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, so that when we pushing that record, we ain't shot the video yet. We're gonna shoot that, and uh, we got a follow up coming coming to uh, Hello Goodbye. You know what I'm mm. saying? Okay. And it's saying goodbye to the you know to the past and hello to the future. To the future. I yeah, man. Can you share yeah. a few uh, music business tips on your blueprint for national su- success through your company? Because you got you got success that's different. <laughs> I, look, it, it ain't a blog, bro. <laughs> Let, let's let's be clear. You know, I just gotta set the tone, Jack. I let him know when you when you go to the man and you do your Googles, it ain't it ain't just a regular blog. Yeah, we, you know, we, no, we we got some national, we got some international stuff going on here, man. But it's gotta be a blueprint, Jay. And you 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 move in silence, bro. Uh, but, I, I, but you say I move in silence. You move in silence, but the results speak. I try to. <laughs> What's, what's some tips? Don't give them all, but what's some tips to the blueprint of your success through your press and through, the, through how you guys go about, um, you know, your game? You know, because you obviously have a game, you have a team, but okay. uh, the, a blueprint is definitely has been displayed because it's lasting. And, yes, sir. Yeah. So yes, sir. can you share a little nuggets on that a little bit? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'll be, it'll be an honor to. Man, you know, the blueprint, my blueprint starts off always with meditation. Uh you know, prayer, you know, personal, on a mm-hmm. personal tip, you know, to click, you know, just kind of clear my mind. And then we go into masterminding and game plan, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And, uh, you know, really, and that's our everyday journey. It's a daily process. You don't let one day slip, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Slip mm-hmm. by. You, you, you know, the, the, you go hard or go home, you go hard every day. Yeah. You know, there, 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 there are no breaks. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and when you do take a break, you still not breaking. You feel me? You're still, <laughs> yeah, yeah. still going. You know? Yeah. So that's, that's one of my things, man. And, uh, you know, time management, because, you know, a lot of people in L.A., you know, we got a team out of L.A. and New York. Shouts out to MD Productions out there. You know, I've been my boys for over 20 some years and my bros. Okay. B.O. B.O. is a great personal assistant as well um, and great musician. Um, but game planning and masterminding, man, and uh, making good relationships, bro, and not good, not good. burning bridges. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Okay. And asking questions, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, if you see people that's, that's somewhere where you want to be, then you, you you study their blueprints. You create your own, but you can't really create your own blueprint if you don't understand correct uh, how a blueprint works or, or how it can make you successful. So is is the greats like you said earlier? Yeah. Uh, just studying, you know, like, man, how did they really get there? What's their worth ethics like? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been told I was a workaholic, man. And, uh, and that's cool. That's good. That's all right. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's a blessing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It keeps yeah. me out of trouble big time, for sure. Uh, but yeah, man, a lot of masterminding. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work, bro. Okay. No doubt. Okay. Uh, getting the right team is very important. Okay. You know? Uh, I got a production team behind the scenes, like, you know, having your behind the scenes team who who don't mind, who loves to be behind the scenes. They don't, they don't ask for credit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, yeah. They play their role, well. but they don't, they don't need that. They just want to see the results, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and you got to surround yourself around those type of people okay. and uh, believe in your vision, man. You got to believe. Bro. Yeah. You you got to believe, bro. You only as strong as your mind and your belief system, bro. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And that's pretty much the niche right there, man. A lot of game planning, uh, masterminding, and uh, just studying those uh, weak areas and trying to fine tune things. And like, hey, man, how could I, man? Okay, if we can, uh, man, if I could reach ten thousand people, if I can yep. reach just a thousand, well, yep. maybe I can reach ten thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah, just you know, keep pushing start, the envelope. Yeah, you just keep pushing the envelope, and then you learn to make adjustments. I shared this in GQ magazine with Will Smith on the cover. That's yeah. a whole nother conversation, right? Yeah, uh, but but <laughs> in the yeah, throw them sidebars in there. He's still my <laughs> dog. He's still my dog. You know, hey, but check it out, man. Uh-huh. That that's really what it is. It's it's about a lot of adjustments. You can't be afraid to change up the wheel. Be yourself, but you know, always be willing to. Uh, make the adjustments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's like all that. about adjustments. I had to make 
countless of adjustments over the years, bro. Wow. Like when people sleeping, I'm up here, you know what I mean? I'm up here on a laptop or listening. It's like, how could we, how could we, you know, if I could reach 10, okay, we wait a thousand, we get to 10. How could we tweak this to 20,000? Yeah. People. And how can we tweak this to 100,000? I'm like, you know, and I would envision it and write it down. I believe this in the good book. It said, write the vision, make it plain. Got to write it down. Yeah. And if you don't make it plain, bro, man, the universe, God, they can't, man, he can't, he can't do, it ain't nothing going to happen, bro. You're going to be all <laughs> over the place. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You got any shows, any tours coming up, man? Any, what's the next yeah. show or tour coming up? Oh man, we got we got shows being booked right now. Uh, nice, we got nice. stuff coming up in Albuquerque uh, with my man Eric Martinez. Uh, Jada Kiss is a part of this. Uh, yep, I don't yep. want to give up too much of it right now. Please I'll don't, know. please next don't. Month. Next <laughs> month, yeah, next month. I ain't even gonna tell you the name of it yet, but I'm just letting you know it's the All Star Cast. These are people that I looked up to coming up, yeah. and uh, just to be able to be a part of. That and be asking to be, you know, you know, get that five star treatment, man. It's a blessing. I'm humbled yeah, by it, bro. Yeah, but we've been yeah. working hard. You know that, man. You yep, know that yep. you grind. You a grinder. Yourself. Yeah, you know, I, I can identify with man, it. You I know, can, you can identify, bro. That's that, that really what really tells me. I, I know it when I see it. I saw, yeah, he gonna last. <laughs> right on, man. Wow. That's, that's what's up. That's and just being resilient, don't quit where most people quit. The most brilliant people in life are the ones who didn't give up, bro. There you go, right? There you go. And don't be afraid to fail. fail Absolutely. Forward, but right? fail forward, forward. though. That's you know what I'm saying? Key. Don't fail backwards and, and, and fall in the ditch and later and, and you know, have pity yeah. parties because that ain't gonna never, yeah, ain't gonna get you nowhere. Ain't get you nowhere. <laughs> nowhere, nowhere. You know, Absolutely. so that's really what we do, man. We 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 do calls. You know, you you ask questions, you study others. You know, and, it, yep. and you still be yourself, and still keep your identity. Yeah. You got to be able to learn from others and still keep be influenced by the greats, and not try to uh, become a carbon copy. Yeah, great. Yeah, you and it. find your own blueprint, and that you know, it, it, it took some years, but that's cool. You know what I mean? That's what's uh, up. We man. seeing the fruits, man. Anything that's worth sad. having, it takes time. No. That's what's up. Do you see yourself uh, with any other investments, uh, business investments outside of music? Do you see it kind of uh, anything that yeah. I know you can't really? Oh yeah, too much about oh, yeah. it. But yeah, I know I know oh, you got some other ventures oh, yeah. <laughs> on the side. Oh, yeah. yeah, and you know what? And then a lot of that's going to be to filter the main passion of mine, though. Nice. Okay, that's it. you did. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know, those those different streams is always going to come back to what I'm most passionate about, and that is music and entertainment, you know, mm -hmm. arts, and, arts and entertainment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're going to get into more little acting and stuff. We got some surprises coming up. Good, and, good. Uh, okay. Yeah, man. Just dropped a new video on Sunshine with the Rain. You got to check that out. Yeah. Um, I think that might have swayed them to, to, to bring me where, where we're going in New Albuquerque. They saw that. They thought it was dope. He's like, man, you from the New York. You know, brought on the New York manager. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I ain't gonna say his name right now. You know who he is. And um, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, uh, the you know that's we got some shows coming up in New York as well. Beautiful, New York, Beautiful. New York um, Orlando. I'm going to get my uh, life coach license. Oh wow! Uh, in okay. August, yeah, in August. I definitely can't forget to tell you that. This D. John Maxwell bestseller art, you know who he is. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, leadership, is influence, you know what I mean? Okay. All those good books like that, man. And I would tell people, man, definitely read books too, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're going to get our life coach license and speaking, motivational speaking license. That's what I brought up earlier. Nice. And uh, that's going to make me more official in that arena. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. Establish you even more. Orlando, Orlando if y'all want to come greet a brother, you know what I mean? That's a big event, 120 uh, countries worth of the biggest leaders all around the world will be there. Nice. I get to take a picture with John Max and uh, hang out with him and get, you know, get my licenses from him. Yeah, man, that's what's up. Yeah. So we diving into some other things too. You know? Okay. Any final uh, salutes, man? Shout outs or thank you. Public flowers you want to give to your team, your, your family, your supporters? Oh, man. To all the supporters, to all the radio, to all the media, I ain't gonna get into all the names because you see it's been going down like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Arthur Flash McClain, we will shout out him. Uh, both personal assistants, uh, Theo Harden, uh, Tracy, 
Canada, you know what I mean? Uh, they, they they hold it down. They help brothers, you know, with the wardrobe and all that. I got to give shouts out to that for the pictures, all the media pictures you see. Yep. LA Week and all that stuff, the source and all. And uh, This is 50. We was in that too, you know? They did a big write-up on This is 50. Yeah. And uh, just, just yeah, just to the wardrobe people and everybody, man, you know, that, that supported us and, and uh, got us to this point because it takes a team, bro. It takes a village. You can't get there alone, bro. Absolutely, man. Well, we appreciate you, Jay, for tapping into this episode of When Music Matters. Of course, you matter, bro. We, we appreciate the appreciate you, examples, man, man, that you're showing out here and how you continue to strive <laughs> and, and lead the people. <laughs> I'm striving, man. Yeah. yeah. Deep diving, you know what I mean? Deep diving, swimming in the deepest parts of the water. You know what there I mean? you go, man. That's and, what's uh, you know, showing people how to stroke and dive deeper, man, without drowning. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Start a one one magazine exclusive. You guys are tuned into something dope. I make sure y'all stream this this episode. Make sure y'all go to that man's social media, his platforms, all of his platforms actually, and his links will be in the show notes of this episode. Make sure y'all go to check out puremissionent.com. Hit him up on social media. He's active. He's working. There's some things coming from him that y'all got to keep your eyes and your ears glued to. Start a one on one magazine podcast. We out, Chris. No doubt. Gone. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. Keep it with your host, Christopher Boyd. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast.